If you're currently running Windows 10 and your internet connectivity is slow and sluggish and you really want to boost that speed up, well today I'm going to show you six different settings that's going to make the world of a difference and they're all free and you can do them right now. Let me show you. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get into making your internet connectivity even faster. Let's start by doing a speedtest.net just to get an idea of what the bandwidth is like. Of course, if your service provider has a bandwidth limitation, this is just going to make it faster to get to your service provider, but nothing beyond that. Did you know that your window actually limits your bandwidth? Yes, it certainly does. So here's what you need to do. Go into this particular website. I will have the link in the description. This is how to enable the group policy editor. Most of us are running Windows 10 Home, so we don't have it installed by default. If you're running Windows 10 Professional Edition, well, you're gonna have a lot of these tools already built in. So all you have to do is go to this webpage, follow the instructions, but let me take you through it like I'm installing it for the first time so you can kind of follow along. So I'm gonna use method number one. I'm gonna download this particular file, click on that, save the zip file to your computer. And once you've done that, go ahead and open that file. Now, the setup.exe is the file that you're looking for. Double click on that and it will install. Next thing, you want to go right click on the start button and then type gpedit.msc. If you get this error message, no problem, click OK. Go back down into your start button and this time we're going to type in C Windows Sys Wow 64. Yep, it's a thing. What we're doing, we're looking for these two folders and a third file. It's the file that we try to access. So let's go find it. There it is. So this is the gpedit.msc. Now, right click on that. Choose copy. So you've got all three selected, all in the control button, of course. Then go to C Windows System 32. C Windows System 32. And when that comes up, right click somewhere and press paste click ok to give yourself permissions that's no problem and we'll simply paste those files in there now we did that so that now it's accessible go into your start button and now we're going to type in gpedit.msc and before it didn't come up you saw you got that error message but look now you'd get it there it is click on it when that comes up let me just make it a little bit wider so we can see it on the left hand side we want to go into administrative templates on the right hand side we want to go into network double click and now we want to look for something called the qos picket schedule double click on that and underneath that there we go it's the limit bandwidth click on that and it actually tells you that it restricts us to 20 percent if you read the middle pane it gives you all the information that you need to know but why it does it and if you don't want to change it that's perfectly fine Remember, everything that we do here, you can always go and undo in case you're finding any issues. So, how do, what do we have to do next? On the right pane, click on, double click on that. And this time we're going to choose Enable. We're going to remove the 20% limit and we're going to bring it down to zero. I like to leave it at 5% to give it a little bit of wiggle room to do what it needs to do. And simply click OK. Simple as that. The less Windows has to manage, the better it is for its performance and the less it needs to be constantly updating. So click on Start, Settings. When you get to this menu, look for Privacy. Click on that. On the left hand side, you're going to scroll all the way down until you're going to see Background Apps. When that pops up, you're going to start disabling any of these apps that simply don't need to be constantly running and certainly don't need to be constantly looking for updates. Windows has the ability to be updated from other computers on your network. Well, we can disable that. Start settings, we'll look, go to update and security, click on that. On the left hand side, we're looking for something called delivery optimization. So when you find that, click there, right? And when that pops up, we're gonna disable that. And you'll see it actually gives you instruction, tells you what this does. The cool thing is if you made a mistake with any of these and it seems to have slowed things down, simply go and re-enable it. Right, let's carry on. So let's go down here and we're gonna stick the on button. 
and we'll make it to off right and that's it that's all you gotta do okay let's talk about dns now what is the dns let me show you so let's just say you go into your command prompt and you do a lookup for a website called www.google.com you can see when i ping it it comes back with an ip address a set of numbers that is how our computers access any website any mail server and basically works for essentially anything that is connected to the web that we're allowed to access so for example there's my blog ip address if we take the ip address for google and we copy it and we paste it into a web browser it will then fire up whatever the website ip address is so they both get to the same location so why is this important for us because the faster that it can do that lookup between the ip address and the name the less hop it's going to have it's going to get you there quicker so right click on your network choose open properties choose change adapter option now choose the adapter that you happen to be connecting to the network mine is wi-fi double click on that and then choose properties now on properties you're looking for the tcp ip v4 so internet protocol so double click on that leave the the top one ip address from your network but this is the one you want to change you want to change the dns so i'm going to try 8.8.8 .8 .8, 8.4.4.8 and that is Google's DNS. Let's see if that makes a difference. If it doesn't, no problem. Go back into it and let's try a different IP address. Go to the DNS, let's choose 1.1.1.1.0.0.1. That's Cloudflare DNS and let's try that. Now, depending where you happen to be in the world, depending who your service provider is, different DNSs are gonna give you different results. So how do you find your local DNS that's gonna work for you? Simply go to Google and type free DNS so many articles will come up each is going to give you both the primary and the secondary dns servers simply go into those lists find the ones that you want give it a bash give it a try see if it works for you if it does great if it doesn't simply try another one another good thing to run is the flash dns command so click on start type command right click on the command and run as administrator when you get into the prompt type ip config forward slash flush DNS and that just simply flushes the cache of DNS records. Right, let's analyze the Wi-Fi channel that we're broadcasting on. So if it's congested, you're obviously going to be fighting with other Wi-Fi channels. So first thing, click on Wi-Fi Analyzer. If you don't have one, it will automatically open up the store. Click on this particular Wi-Fi Analyzer, click on Get and simply follow the instructions to install it. Once that's installed, click on Analyze. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go down to the bottom where it says View. Click on that. Click on Network Count. And then click on SSID. Right. Now I can see that on Channel 11, I have the three Wi-Fi's. And I can see that on Channel 6, there we go on the left side, I've got one Wi-Fi on Channel 6. Now, I'm not connected to this because I'm connected across 5G. So if I wanted to see what that actually would look like, bottom click on 5g and i can see on channel 44 i'm the only one so i'm totally cool let's go back to the 2.4 gigahertz range can you see my other network here is on channel 11 which is competing with other networks so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to flip over into my router setting now every router is different so you're going to have to find where it is on yours but essentially you have the option to change your channel Channel 11 was congested. Cool, let's go to a different channel. Let's try channel number two. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm gonna click on apply. Right, let's click on apply. Let's wait for the settings to take place. And if I go back into my analyzer on the left-hand side under channel number two, I've only got one network, which means I don't have to fight with anybody else. So with all these changes, did it make a difference? I'm going to run another speedtest.net and clearly I can already see 107 megabits per second download, 11.46 upload. This has clearly worked. And remember, all of these settings can be done and undone. Try a bunch of them, try them all. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the head below to subscribe if you're new here and check out some of these other cool videos down here. I'll see you over there.